let's have a property tour, shall we? Brian Lebo here, and today I am very excited to show off this insane house. Now, today we are out in Anthem Country Club, and this has been a completely remodeled home, massive in size. And if you ever wanted to know what it was like to live in a restoration hardware showroom, come check out this place. This is spectacular. So we've seen plenty of homes that are priced at $5 million that, let's be honest, that was a rough price. This is very different. Instead of being modern, today we're gonna go with kind of a modern contemporary twist, not ultra modern minimal. So let's head towards the kitchen, but first we're gonna discuss the flooring in this area. Now the stairs leading up to the property and in this foyer area, this is a 48 inch porcelain tile that looks like concrete. Sensational, my personal favorite, not that it matters, but my personal favorite. This is such a dramatic entry area. We have a beautiful chandelier above us. All the Roman pillars have been uh, veneered with a Venetian plaster. You're gonna see a lot more Venetian plaster and it's so tastefully done. But now let's head towards the kitchen like we always do. Now we have two steps down. So we're gonna make sure Ashley doesn't lose herself here. But what we're gonna discuss first here is the flooring for this main floor. So you're gonna notice this on the main floor and then you're gonna notice it for the floor below us. Now, the French oak look is so popular and if you didn't know, you would think that this is actually French oak, but this is what we call a skyumorphic. We used this before. It's something that replicates something that it isn't. So in this implementation, this is a tile. So this is five foot long plank tile that looks like wood. The giveaway are the grout lines. So again, in person, you would never know unless you looked at those grout lines. But now let's check out this kitchen, guys. Okay, first off, we need to discuss this island. Absolutely gorgeous. The craftsmanship is top notch. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is actually a leathered matte granite counter surface. And again, in person, it's unbelievable. You would think that potentially this would get a little bit busy with the flooring. Perfect. Everything in this house, the interior design was flawless. So again, wonderful fabrication. We have a two and a half inch lip return. We've seen a few homes where they only did a one and a half inch and it looks like prefab. Awesome job here. All right, now let's dig into this kitchen now that we're actually in here. Now, starting off, you'll notice all the cabinetry is custom veneer as you would expect, right? Now, the counter surfaces, with the exception of the island, instead of being granite, now we have a matte quartz counter surface. Very elegant, very nice. Again, we have the two and a half inch return, <laughs> but this is awesome. So we have this massive window over a secondary sink. So this could be your kosher sink, second sink, whatever. But you have un unobstructed views of Black Mountain and the mountains are beautiful. We've got the golf course, we're overlooking the swimming pool, just a sensational place to wash vegetables, oh, whatever. <laughs> All right, coming around this way, one of the first things, if you've been watching for a while, you know my peeve, one dishwasher? But wait, there's more. So we have kind of a hodgepodge of appliances. Guys, tell me your thoughts. Some people are sticklers about it, some people don't care. I personally like to take the best of every world, but I know a lot of people like things uniform. So we have Bosch appliances for the dishwasher. We have Thermador double ovens. And you guys know I'm a little corny. <laughs> I just love these built-in microwaves. So this Sharp actually has a deployable panel that comes down, you press it, it opens, you know, hit you with the ooh ah sound. All right, I dig it. Again, now we have more of the custom cabinetry, kind of a nice aesthetic look for the shelf. I don't think you would actually put anything there. But coming over this direction, we've seen this huge ever since basically the pandemic, but we have a Z-Line 48 inch grill top, not a cooktop, it's a grill top because the controls are in the front. We have the pot filler, and then they created a veneer around the commercial ventilation. So very nice, and honestly, as much as I love stainless steel, it would look a little too industrial for this application, but I love what they did. Now, before we finish off over here, let's get back to the island. We have the same veneer cabinetry that we have throughout the rest of the kitchen, but this is really neat. Um, we saw this in a remodeled Toll Brothers home about six months ago. This is the Kraus sink system. So this system is really neat because it's modular. So all of these pieces 
can be interchanged to do whatever you want to do. It's, it's actually a really cool system. So if you're looking for an expensive sink, <laughs> there you go. All right, again, thank you, $5 million home. We have two dishwashers. To me, that's just a complete prerequisite at this level. Now, finishing up, we have our wine refrigerator and <laughs> you're gonna see, if you love wine, this is the house for you because damn near everywhere in this house, there's areas for wine, so. It's something. Now we have a Sub-Zero refrigeration. So this is the Sub-Z 48 inch 632 model. I got the same one, rock and roll. Now, normally I don't show you a pantry because how sexy are pantries, but this is actually a cool one. So come check this out. Now in the pantry, I love that they went with a nice custom veneer for all these shelving. Obviously it makes it on another level. I mean, it's a pantry. I don't know how many times you have people in your pantry, but we still have the matte quartz countertops, which are gorgeous. And then who does this? We have a glass paneled front veneer for the cabinetry. Again, it's a pantry. Who does that? One thing you guys might want to consider if you're building a home or remodeling, very nice touch, super overrated, underrated. Electrical outlet in the pantry is great if you have like, a, you know, if you have like a Dyson vacuum that you want to keep plugged in and out of sight, that's exactly what I did, but I had to put in an outlet. This one's already there for you. So rock and roll. Now coming around this corner, oh, this is, well, step into my office. Very, very cool. So this is actually the movie theater. So even though you have a family room and a place for that, you know, 20 feet away, this is the actual movie theater. So we have this rounded turret area, very nice architecturally. They put it in the rounded table to kind of accent the curvature. Again, what did I tell you? Wine racks, there's a recurring theme you're gonna see over and over. Now over here, we have the wet bar area. We have a beautiful granite counter surface. Very, very elegant, very, very nice. And let's spin around this area. So of course we have our screen. So I believe 130 inch screen, 120 inch screen. Very nice. One thing, let's talk about this. This is really cool. Um, Ashley loved it. This is a gray Venetian plaster. The way that they've used it selectively is just beautiful. So I really like the limited use that they have with the Venetian plaster, but check this out. Okay, you know, I don't, man, a bookshelf, bookcase, cool, but it's like Scooby-Doo, <laughs> check it out. Ooh, ah. All right, so this could be a safe room. I don't know if it's much of a safe room. It's kind of obvious if you know what you're looking for, but what's really neat is if we come in here a little bit, What's cool is this is where you would actually hide all the components for a real home theater. There's plenty of room, plenty of accessibility. So very good and well thought out. Again, if you wanna make this into a movie theater, it's crucial that you have access to a lot of those components. So very neat. All right, let's keep it moving and see what else we have in store because next we're gonna head over this direction and we're gonna see what's going on in the family room. So. The big, big grabber, aside from this media wall, is this massive window. So we have like a 25, I'd say a 20 foot high window. And again, you're overlooking the pool directly. We're right on the fairway and the hole on the seventh. Just unobstructed, beautiful views. Just a wonderful place to be. Now let's talk about this media wall. So here we have 30 by 60 inch slabs of porcelain. Very, very elegant, very nice. Brought all the way up to the ceiling where the crown molding is. But we're gonna take a second to talk about this fireplace. Uh, we've seen it's completely obligatory at this point. Every remodeled home has a linear electric fireplace now. It's just stock and standard. What I haven't understood is why some people choose to use some of the electric fireplaces. You can have ones that look really cheesy, like paper mache just flapping in the wind. This is my absolute favorite. I used this about a year ago on a remodel. This is the Dimplex XL Ignite 100. I'm not sure if that was the right order, but it is an Ignite 100 XL. 100 inch fireplace, massive, massive. And what's neat is it's such a minimal framing that it doesn't look like an electric fireplace. Most of them have a real thick border. I think it's really tacky. This is the best one that I have seen other than when you go to vapor. All right, we have seen, oh, that's right, Ashley. So one of the really cool things 
a little lost during the daytime, but we have a beautiful chandelier. But one of the architectural designs here is that we have a coffered ceiling with illumination. And the illumination is about four feet from the actual ceiling. So at night, this would be absolutely sensational. Just a cool architectural design feature. Now, heading over this direction, you'll notice we have four, actually five Roman pillars. Not the biggest fan of Roman pillars, but I love what they did here because they used the Venetian plaster, painted it gray. It actually perfectly fits in the theme. If you have to keep pillars, that's a great way of doing it. Uh, we have a closet over here, not too exciting. Oh, actually, this, <laughs> this was kind of funny, man. This was kind of cool. Who cares about a coat closet? But this is neat. When have you seen a coat closet with an illuminated alcove? I don't, know. I don't want to spend too much time, but I just thought that was, you know, it's, it's in the details, right? So that was kind of neat. Now over here, we actually have an elevator because this is three stories. Right now the elevator is docked in the basement. Uh, so we can't really see inside at the moment, but there's your elevator. Now we're going to head into this secondary suite. So this secondary suite, very nice, very bright, tons of recessed lighting in every room. But this is really neat. We have French doors that lead out to the balcony. So this is the same balcony that we saw by the kitchen area. It's a massive balcony. So this would be a wonderful, wonderful guest suite. Um, but now let's check out this bathroom that's been redone. We have the barn door to delete some light. Wonderful shower. So we have oversized porcelain tile that looks like marble. So it's not marble, it's porcelain, but nice accents and brass. We have 24 by 48 inch tile as well. Uh, we have our floating tub, our soaking tub. And then we have a beautiful granite counter surface, undermount sink, the same cabinetry that we saw in the kitchen, beautiful mirror, and then we just have a little toilet. Very nice, very elegant. You'll notice that a lot of the bedrooms and, a, and a, a attached bathrooms in this home haven't been remodeled. They were serviceable, but some of them have been like this. So this is cool. So I don't know if this is actually going to display well on film like it does in person, but there's a radius to this. So it's kind of like you're in the Oval Office. So if you have presidential aspirations that didn't work out, you can settle in your $5 million home in your Oval Office. Very nice. Tons of illumination. You got six lights. Very nice. Gets me excited. Okay, now we've pretty much seen this main floor. Normally we would go upstairs, but I wanna show you one more thing. Obviously, this is the reverse of where we started, our front door. But check out this powder bathroom. Like, I love when people go a little bit farther with a boring powder bathroom. Um, this is beautiful. So we have oversized porcelain tile that looks like marble, very nice. But check this out. You guys, tell me what you think. Instead of having, you know, a, a vanity or a pedestal, I love what they did with this fabrication. So we have quartz but they did a 22 inch relief. So this hides all the plumbing fixtures behind here. And I just love the monolithic look, but it's softened by all this brass and all the lighting. I love it. Now the backsplash here is a beautiful gray travertine look. Very nice mosaic. Love the above mount sink. I don't know. It's a, it's a powder bathroom that got me a little excited. So I want to share that with you guys. All right, we have seen the entire main floor. We have two floors left to go. So follow with me as we go upstairs to see the primary suite and another secondary suite. All right, now we are upstairs. So like I was discussing earlier, here's our chandelier and here's that beautiful 20 foot window, but here's that coffered ceiling we were discussing. So again, you can't really appreciate the illumination. It's probably not gonna show up on film, but let's, let's head over this direction. Now, first, before we go too far, the flooring up here changes a little bit. So here, I, kind of a French oak, it's more of like a whitewashed oak, but this is actually a laminate. So while we had the tile on the main floor, this is actually real wood, but it's, it's laminate. So let's go with luxury vinyl laminate. All right, step into the primary suite. So first we'll come up this direction. So. Here's our bed area, nice chandelier, tons of recessed lighting, nice pitch in the roof, shutters, and then we'll swing around this direction. Um, 
great, great balcony. So this balcony is beautiful. Again, you're overlooking the golf course, overlooking the pool, just a beautiful place to have your morning coffee. Now, over this direction, we have a wonderful veneer. So we have, again, oversized tile, I believe, what, 24, mm, 24 by 36 inch tile. And we have the Dimplex XL Ignite instead of the 100 inch that we saw downstairs. This one is a 72 inch. They went with a little bit of a different crystal rock. And uh, again, just like most electric fireplaces, you can change the color. So it goes from red, green, blue, uh, and then you have clear, and then you have a smoky color. It's actually really cool in person. Uh, <laughs> you remember this part? Okay, so this is kind of funny. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to make fun of stuff. So. Nice, we have a sink, right? You know, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I guess you need a sink in uh, in the bedroom. Okay, cool, fine, you got a sink. So I have a sink here. I can literally touch both sinks. I don't know. You guys tell me, I'll leave it there. Kind of funny. All right, now that we are in the primary bathroom, we have a beautiful porcelain. So we have 30 by 60 inch massive tiles in here. Beautiful, beautiful quartz counter surfaces. And what's so difficult is you can see the radius. So these vanities have a pretty aggressive radius. You're losing a lot of the slab here. Very expensive, very nice. Here, because of, you, you couldn't fabricate like we normally do for that mitered edge. So this is a little bit different. This is only one and a half inches, but that is due to the radius and nothing else. We were discussing earlier, beautiful. Again, we have the gray Venetian plaster that they use for this radius above the vanity. So you gotta be a little careful. You don't have any backsplash here. So if you do get any water intrusion, you're gonna have some issues. It has been grouted, but you gotta be careful about splashing water up there. Okay, now this direction over here, we have a custom closet. So a little bit simple, but very nice, very elegant. Again, we have the quartz counter surface for the island in the, in the closet. Nice, yeah, gets the job done, well done. Okay, coming down this direction, um, I believe over here we just have, oh yeah, this is cool, I forgot. See, I got tricked. This house is so huge, it's hard to remember everything. I love this, love this. Tell me guys, what do you think? So we have a modern LG stackable in one unit. I love having the washer and dryer in the primary, no walking, just makes sense. We have a little counter surface area over here, but so nice to have that in your bedroom. Love that. Okay, over here we have the shower. Lovely shower, lovely shower. It's fully enclosed, so it will create steam, although this is not a steam shower. You're gonna see we've got steam showers, we have steam rooms, we have so many options. But over here on both sides, on this side here and this side here, we have body washers. We have two oversized shower heads and I'll be honest, we have a rainfall shower head that's the exact same shower head as these two. So I don't know, you could have three rain clouds just descending upon you, just soaking you if you really want that to your heart's content. Now over here, is beautiful. Um, you're gonna have to appreciate the B-roll. Above us, again, nice use of the Venetian plaster. So in this turret area for our soaking tub, we got a lovely chandelier, the Venetian plaster on the top, and then you have, again, this soaking tub. Uh, you can see window, window, the gates right there. If you're an exhibitionist, you're gonna love taking baths here. Okay, over here, pretty simple. We just have the toilet, not worth the B-roll for that one. All right, let's mosey on out of the primary suite now, and let's check out a little bit more of the upstairs area. So all of this on both sides is open to below. So over here is the family room, over here is the entry. And again, because there's three floors, this is the elevator shaft, kind of nice. We've seen a million of them. Sometimes they're really cheesy. This is nice, you know, nice door. You have like frosted glass for an elevator. They actually did a nice job. I've seen it done much worse. Of note, while the doors are a little short, I'm 6'1", I guess this is a seven foot door at best. A little weird, but these are all solid core, very heavy, very quality doors. 
So now we're in the upstairs secondary suite. So over here we have one massive closet with two banks of doors. Again, just like the primary suite, we have an upstairs balcony. It's a decent size. It's not a Juliet balcony. It's actually a pretty good size. You could put a table up here if you wanted to. Over this direction, it's a bed. Not much to say. But again, thank you so much. Recessed lighting everywhere. This could somehow have a drop down screen and be a theater. There is an outlet, an old school cable. So you could have a projector. Maybe this was a gym. I don't know. But let's check it out. So again, this is one of the original bathrooms. So you can kind of tell, again, I don't know how short people were 20 years ago, but you can kind of see, yeah, a little short. I mean, to wash my face, <laughs> I literally have to just completely bend over. Yeah, it's good for short people and kids, but original bathroom. So we have kind of a, kind of a palish pinkish granite. But then we have a perfectly fine walk-in shower, again, for a secondary suite. This is, it's not worth complaining about, it's nice. And then here's our toilet. So it's a bedroom, very nice. All right, guys, um, I believe we have seen everything there is to see on this upstairs level. So without further ado, we're gonna go to the basement or the under level, whatever way you wanna put it. So stick with me, we're gonna go dip right down to the basement. I'll see you guys down there in just one second. All right guys, now we are in the basement or the underfloor, whatever vernacular you wanna use. Really cool stuff going on down here. So remember when I was telling you earlier about all the wine? How cool is this? Not only do we have a tasting room, we have an actual wine cellar. So here we have a wrought iron door, super heavy, so beautiful, ornamental. And in here we have a massive wine cellar, full refrigeration. In fact, it's so nice in here. Kind of just want to kill the video and stay in here. All right. Beautiful wine cellar, we've seen that. Now let's see what else is lurking in this amazing basement. All right, heading down this hallway, we're gonna have a couple things. First off, we have the laundry room, not super exciting, but this is the main laundry room since most of the bedrooms are actually downstairs. We're gonna start off over here. So because of the shape of this room is very odd, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Could be a bedroom, but it's a little odd. So. Obviously this turned into a wellness room. So we have a full wet bar. So we have refrigeration, we have our sink. And this is kind of neat. Um, I didn't get it at first. Ash and I talked, actually super cool. So we have an exterior door. So this is the motorcade and behind us over here is going to be where the garage is. So imagine if you have kids, teenagers, they're coming and going. If you don't wanna be disrupted upstairs on the main floor, they can just kind of park, kind of come in here and be less disruptive. So really cool. So this is currently set up as a wellness room. Very nice. And you have your exterior access. Maybe if you need to run back in the house and you don't want to go through the garage, you just park right next to the door. Now this has been remodeled as well. Beautiful 12 by 24 inch flooring that looks like concrete. I love this counter surface. So we have the same cabinetry that we had everywhere else, but now we have a beautiful granite counter surface that's gray and white. I absolutely love it. We have a remodeled shower, brass accents. I really love the shower floor. The shower pan is like a hexagonal gray marble. Really nice, very tasteful. Over here, we have a toilet. We have a walk-in uh, closet. Eh, not super exciting in the closet. All right, we have finished up this hallway. <laughs> we got so much more to go down here. This is huge. Now, this is beautiful. This is so dramatic. This mirrors the foyer that we had upstairs with the five Roman pillars. I just love the way you're greeted in this space. Really wonderful. Now over in this direction, we're gonna see additional secondary bedrooms. So let's knock these out before we get to the elephant in the room. Okay, first off is, remember we have the oval office. We kind of have an oval bedroom. So I guess this would be pretty dramatic if you had the bed here and walking in. So it's kind of neat. Now, over here, we have another exterior door. So wrought iron with glass. What's kind of cool for this one is, let's say you have guests from out of town, you don't want to be bothered. 
There's an additional walk path on the right side of the home with a separate gate. So you can literally walk down the trail, come right into your bedroom and not disrupt anyone. Very, very, very cool. Closet over here. Now we start getting into the original decor of the property. So this is the original flooring. So we have kind of like a white granite flooring with a little bit of mauve accents. Again, we have the Yoda height <laughs> vanity, very low. And then we have a very nice walk-in shower and a basic toilet. So it's a secondary bedroom, not much excitement. All right, now coming over to this area. Now this isn't a bedroom, this is just gonna be a den. So this is again, a very oddly shaped room and there is a closet. So technically it actually is a bedroom. I lied, I was wrong, my bad. Like we discussed before, over here, we have the elevator uh, and the elevator shaft for all three floors. Now this is really neat. So let's come in here. First off, the flooring is a beautiful granite. So, or I should say marble. So it's a hexagonal marble, really elegant, very nice. Now. Over here, we have a shower and you'll notice, again, we have a third exterior door. The reason that this one exists is because this is near the pool. So you can come right in from the pool, not muck up anything, jump right in the shower. Over here, we have gorgeous, gorgeous granite counter surface, two sinks, brass accents, right in from the pool. But this is really neat. In here, this is an actual steam room. So it's a massive, beautiful steam room. So again, you can hit the steam room, then hit the pool, vice versa. Really, really nice coming right off from the backyard. Okay, we got a little bit more. Try not to look at the elephant in the room over there. Just, just try, try to bear with me. We got one last room here and then we'll get to everything else. Okay, this is the coolest of the secondary bedrooms because this actually faces the backyard. So here you can see the golf course, the mountains. We have French doors. This is just has a wonderful feel, beautiful lighting. This is probably the one that you'd wanna stay in down here, have a little privacy. Now again, original. So we have the original vanity, very low. We have a walk-in shower over here and uh, our toilet area. Now we've gotten past the boring stuff. Let's get to the elephant in the room. Now again, downstairs, we have the same tile that we had on the main floor. So we have the five foot long planks. Uh, and again, it's tile, not wood. Now, normally I would have this open. It's a little windy outside and we don't need things blowing in here. But we have a 20 foot long slider. And what's really neat about this slider, again, you take some things for granted, but this is an actual pocket slider. So this is actually going to retract into the wall and be completely hidden. Again, we take it for granted, but a lot of times they cheap out and they don't actually turn into a pocket. They just retract twice. Very nice. Okay, coming over this direction, we have refrigeration because I mean, we got wine here, right? We need more wine. So we got more wine refrigeration, beautiful custom cabinetry. This is the one place where it's different. So this is a very dark, dark charcoal gray veneer. Very, very nice, real rich. I absolutely love what they did with the counter surfaces. So here we have a beautiful granite counter surface. And just like upstairs, they did a great job with the fabrication. So they did a two and a half inch lip. We have our waterfall. It's book matched, just done right. So now we have a sink. Again, we have a dishwasher. This one's a Thermador where the other two were brand new Bosch dishwashers. We do have an ice maker. So again, this is like the party area. You're gonna be having cocktails, hanging out. There you go. Look, we even got our Moscow mules. We are ready. And then of course we have a display. So this is a 75 inch display. So this would be a good place to hang out with the fellas, play some pool, have some drinks, be away from everyone, live in our own little world. More cabinetry on the backside of the island here. Nice use of the shelves, nice ceramic tile for the entire wall backsplash. Just again, just wonderful details. The interior design here is fantastic. Again, we have a little bit more refrigeration here and then more cabinetry. All right, now we are pretty much done, but there's one more thing. Normally eh, we don't show off garages because they're usually just a garage, but this one's pretty cool. And there might be something that you guys haven't seen before. So peep this one out. All right, 
check out this garage floor. I hope, I hope it shows up well because this is a metallic epoxy floor. So the swirls are just beautiful. It's iridescent, it's glossy. This just looks so, so luxurious. Oh, and check this out. It's a Rari. So if you buy this house, I will throw in the Ferrari California. I mean, it's not mine, so what do I care? I'll just throw it in. I'm sure it won't even be missed, so don't worry about it. That was actually a joke in case anyone out there actually believed what I just said. <laughs> All right, we have seen the entire interior of this entire home. We're done. Now let's check out the backyard and we'll wrap this all up. I'll see you guys all outside. All right, guys, now let's check out this massive backyard. Now, one thing I'm gonna say is, normally when you have homes on golf courses, they're very small lots. This is over a half an acre lot. So as a result, you have this massive backyard that we're about to see. Now, over in this direction, we have stairs that come off of the balcony from the kitchen and that secondary bedroom we saw earlier. Coming down here, we have a nice elevated jacuzzi that's overlooking the pool and the entire golf course. You got the mountain views, spectacular. I love this area. So how cool that you have this outdoor conversation pit. So you got a nice fire feature, really cool place to take in the views. Would be really, really neat at night. All right, now coming down this direction, again, we have our patio cover, taking care of the basement area. They went ahead as part of the remodel and added this more modern fence to hide all of the uh, air conditioning banks and access to the secondary bedrooms. Now, as we step up into this area, really neat. We've got tons of shade from this patio cover and we have an outdoor kitchen. Now, before we talk about this kitchen, I wanna show you this real quick. Remember when I was telling you that there was a walkway from the right side of the home? This is the walkway that I was actually mentioning. So you have brand new modern gates and then you can walk right down here, turn around and then walk right into your bedroom if you are so inclined. Now we have a beautiful matte finish counter surface, refrigeration, trash access. We have an outdoor sink. And then of course we have the obligatory barbecue. So just a really nice outdoor place to enjoy uh, your meal al fresco. So let's walk down the stairs and see a little bit more of the property. So as we come down the stairs, you're, you're gonna notice off to the right, we have a wonderful, huge, grassy knoll. It's all artificial turf, so you don't even have to worry about any water regulations, all synthetic lawn. So <laughs> if you wanna work on your short game, you wanna work on your putting game, you've got tons of room. You don't even have to set foot on the actual course. Beautiful, massive mesquite tree, offers a lot of shade in those you know dog days of summer. And then check this out, guys. This is awesome. So we are elevated above the golf course, probably about 30 feet. So it's a really good proximity. There's not a chance in the world you're gonna get hit by a golf ball, not at all. Now, coming over here, let's talk about this pool. You can't even build this pool if you wanted to. Because of the water restrictions, they've reduced the amount of gallons of capacity that pools can have. And this is a perfect example of that. So you could swim laps for days. You could have the most epic volleyball pool party. Just in a sensational, sensational pool, just like a villa. And again, we had the elevated jacuzzi cascading into a waterfall. We've got water features, we got fire features. What more do you want? But really guys, look at that. That is what a $5 million estate should look like. All right, we've seen the entire property. So special thanks to Jordan Benton, the listing agent, for allowing me to shoot this property. Great job by the interior designer, uh, Yulia. Wonderful job. I'll leave some credits. The description below will have more information. But again, guys, thanks for watching this property. I wanna hear your comments. What is your favorite part of this property? Is this worth $5 million? I read your comments and I appreciate the input. Without further ado, we're gonna end it here. More property tours coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.